so we're entering the parking lot. Tell me, I want to be in your brain. Tell me what you're seeing, what you're picking up on. Well, the first thing is, as I exit there, I'm just going to take a quick glance left and right because that's the problem. It's not what's in front of us. It's what's there and there. Retired Special Agent Jennifer Koffendoffer isn't messing around when it comes to predator awareness. And in parking lots, that vigilance started the moment we walked out the door. When you're in a parking garage, parking row, walk in the middle. And the reason is, you don't want somebody to jump out from one of these cars. You're distancing yourself now from a possible problem. She says immediately remove your headphones. Instead of your cell phone, put your hand on pepper spray. Remove all distractions while walking to your car, especially if you can't remember where you parked it. And a lot of people, you see them, they're like this, you've probably done it, and you're hitting your unlock button so you can hear your car and go to it. Don't do that. Go for the panic button instead. The unlock button only makes it easier for an attacker to be waiting for you at or in your vehicle. And as we've seen from attacks and surveillance video from across the country, it can happen in the blink of an eye. This is our producer. He played the part of the bad guy to recreate what Koffendoffer so often sees, surprise strangulation from behind. What you see people doing in the movies and so on is they grab here thinking this is going to give relief and all it's going to do is cause them to be strangled. Instead, as he pulled, I went with him, which got him off balance. I immediately turned. So now the ligature is on the back of my neck. It is not compromising my carotid. I grabbed him, so now he's super off bounds. He was pulling me, I've got him close, and then that caused me to be able to drive him to the ground. At the top of Koffendoffer's list for vulnerable spots in a parking garage, stairwells. Look up and down them before you start the climb. Because do you feel like they're usually, you can see them looking yeah. up to see who's coming down? Yeah, okay. they're waiting on you. And if you do find yourself being attacked, going for the groin isn't a cliche. It's your best chance of escape. Yes. You know, we see movies, we see TV where that works, but it, it really no. does the trick. It works. It is incapacitating for a man to be struck by an elbow, to be a punch to the groin area, a knee to the groin area. It completely, game over. Uh -huh. it's game over. I'm going to immediately get in tight. I'm going to grab and hold them close, on off the balance, on yeah. the neck, yeah. and I'm going to strike with everything I have in the groin area. Groin. And then you run like hell. You literally have to turn the table on them. Surprise, speed, violence of action to get out of that situation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.